Omaha's weather leader, Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby with your accurate weather now forecast. It is Ranby Factor time coming up for the day on Monday. I give Monday a four. I debated it going three here, but uh, I think the snow will be done by morning. It's going to be cold, but we'll have a lot colder weather come winter time. Well, the winter weather impacts we've got to deal with one to three inches of snow for many locations in the Omaha and Lincoln areas. Winds out of the north, so that's kind of a low impact. Travel a little treacherous in outlying areas, especially right now north and west of Omaha, so a medium impact there. And it looks like because this won't be a heavy wet snow and not that much of it and the winds aren't that strong, fairly low as far as the issue uh, the uh, occurrence of power outages. Winter weather advisor for many parts of the viewing area. This is sort of an estimation of what we've had so far, dusting to an inch from downtown Omaha southward, inch or two northwest Omaha, up into Fremont, uh, two to five inches from the Norfolk area, West Point, over into Monona County, around Ottawa. Going forward, an additional inch or two possible Omaha, Lincoln, and even a bit more down here into south central Nebraska. You get farther north up toward Tacoma and Ottawa, only another dusting to an inch as things have already started to taper there and push southward. It's known pretty good downtown though. This is the camera at 27 the Douglas looking back to the east. 27, dew point 25, air is nearly saturated, the snow coming on down. Already 22 in Norfolk and temperatures are pretty much below freezing in the viewing area. North winds 10, 15 miles an hour, wind chills in the teens. That's cold. Live Super Doppler 7 radar. Some of the best banding of snow right now just east of Lincoln here. Cass County, Sarpy County, Douglas County, Pottawatomie County. There is another little impulse moving out of south central Nebraska. So snow is just starting to pick up southwest Nebraska, northwest Kansas. This will move across southern Nebraska and southeast Nebraska later on tonight. Here's storm predictor. Cold high pressure. There's that streak of snow. By morning, we're pretty much done, although cold air is in place. Clouds linger and some flurries for south parts of the viewing area. And cold high pressure lingers into Tuesday. Tuesday morning, extremely cold where it clears out with the fresh snow cover, though we should get some sunshine on Tuesday. Here's overnight on Storm Predictor. Here's this next batch after the current wave diminishes. Four, five, 5.30 in the morning, some snow. Then it tapers as we head toward the morning drive. Cold temperatures in the morning. During the morning, a lot of clouds, some flurries and light snow far southern parts of Nebraska. Temperatures barely warming at lunchtime and then for the afternoon stays kind of cloudy and temperatures barely warming again. We're talking about mid and upper 20s in the afternoon. Low tonight of 22. Omaha snow totals probably between one and three inches. Uh, winter weather advisory continues into the morning. Some flurries at seven. Noontime, cloudy, cold. Afternoon, cloudy, cold. Not real windy but certainly impacts to travel in the morning and record cold temperatures, record cold temperatures on Tuesday that we get some sun Wednesday, mid 40s, Thursday, more clouds and low to mid 40s, but then pretty nice by the end of the week. Looks good for Halloween trick or treating. What about beyond that? Is this just something we're kind of going through or are we into winter weather now? Well, the reason it's so cold is this huge dip in the jet stream that's brought this cold air southward. So it's with us to begin the week. But there it goes. By Wednesday, we're moderating. This disturbance could give us perhaps some showers or clouds on Thursday. But then look at that. Cold air's up where it's supposed to be, up in northern Canada. This is next week. Oh, yeah. We're talking about that nice fall weather that folks say they've been missing. Yes, some highs in the 60s, lows in the 40s, at or above average temperatures. Not that much rain chance. Julie, Rob, that's more like it. <laughs>